Okay, so for my informative speech, I wanted to kind of learn about something and then share with you guys. Um, I didn't really want to tell you something I already knew about because I figured you guys would already probably know about it as well. I didn't want to bore you with things you already knew. So I took a topic that I knew about and didn't know much about it. So I decided to do my speech on Halloween and what it is, how it began and how it's celebrated all over the world. I actually was gonna go to uh, Walmart and get like a witch's hat to wear for you guys, but they were out and we had bunny ears and I thought that was more Easter related. So I didn't do that, but I just wanted to tell you guys that. So Halloween, according to Miriam Webster Dictionary, is October 31st and it's celebrated when dressing up in disguise, trick-or-treating and displaying jack-o'-lanterns in the evening. How it began is actually pretty interesting. It was in the 1700s and it was a Celtic paganism tradition in the British Isles and they believed on, for whatever reason, on that day, October 31st, that spirits and ghosts would come out and need to feast. And so in order to save themselves from being feasted on by the ghosts, they would throw like a party that was a bonfire and that they would wear their best fur, which is like a costume, and they would give treats to the spirits so that their souls wouldn't be eaten by them. And that's how it originally began. And then when Christianity came to Britain, um, they kind of mixed their beliefs together. And Christianity celebrated on November 1st. It was called the Feast of All Saints. And then the day after that was the Souls Day. And so October 31st became known as Eve of All Saints or All Hallows Eve, which is kind of how it got the name Halloween. Um, it didn't really become how it is today until the mid 1800s people realized that they could make money off of it by selling treats to give to kids and by giving them costumes and they just made a lot of money and so that's how it kind of became how it is today um, it is celebrated all around the world just from personal experience in the United States it's celebrated mostly when we're kids we dress up with our friends and go and get as much candy as we can from our neighbors or wherever and kind of when you grow up, you still dress up, but it's kind of just like partying. And that's, I'm pretty sure that's how it's celebrated all over the United States. Um, a few other interesting ways to celebrate I found is in Mexico. It's called Dia de los Muertos. It's Day of the Dead, which you guys have probably heard about that. It's a pretty popular thing. Um, they paint themselves as skeletons and they honor their lost ones. And they offer them treats like sugar skull cookies and tequila. The next one is from Italy, and it's kind of creepy, honestly. Um, they see it as a religious holiday, and they also honor their lost ones, and they only really have one tradition, and it's they carve the pumpkins to look like their lost one. So they carve the faces of their lost ones onto the pumpkin, and that's how they celebrate it. Um, Nepal is Festival of Cows, which is probably the funniest one I found. Um, they actually have a festival and it's a parade. And in the parade, it's families marching and it's the families that had lost somebody that year. And the families march and they have cows that follow them. But if they can't afford a cow or they can't find a cow, they have their youngest child dress up as a cow and act as one. And that's how they celebrate Halloween. So, to sum everything up, it did begin pretty early, but it didn't become what it is until the 1800s, and it's still celebrated all around the world in many different ways. So that's Halloween. <laughs>